oh glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship you. I, I hope I, I did I, I, well. I, I, oh, you did amazing. You're <laughs> lying. That's right. You know that you're lying. No, no, it. you did amazing. Well, you know, you know, back back in uh, what's the the day um, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I wanted to sing. I was actually in a choir. No, but you're good. You're lying. Stop lying. <laughs> Everybody knew that I, I didn't do great there. But I mean, it's this a good is start. Your, it's a good start. But but we we need to let everybody know mm. why we chose the studio. Right. So. Um, so this studio, um, Highly Spiritual Studios, is where I started my first um, ever single mm. that came out. So this is this is my home, that's and you're why. welcome. You're welcome. Home. Let's that's, have a seat. That's why you decided <laughs> on this end. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. I'm interested. I, I think I should let Kewa <laughs> Kewa produce me one of these days. You should. You He's should. He's produced a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So music, music, music. Um, I don't want to tell stories. You are supposed to be telling, you know, all the stories. Um, emoji. Why did you even decide on on, on the emoji song? Um, uh, emoji uh, uh, name. name. Yeah. I wanted to be unique in my um, uh, my area. So I mean, I realized that all my colleagues had their names as the their, their um, brand. You know. Mm. Um, um, I cannot know Joe Metal, Neo Kine, Chris yeah. Yotin, Dinah Hamilton. So I was like, nah, nah, I have to be unique, you know. Uh, and, um, I initially wanted to use Nyaminipa, mm. you know. And Chris Yotin was like, ah, when you go to America and UK, and they, they want to oh, help me welcome Nyaminipa. <laughs> like, they won't, they won't really sit down. So go for Man of God, emoji. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, oh, as on okay. 2013, 2012, that we did, um, I was still very young um, in the industry. Um, we did a rebranding of the whole um, M and Nanea Boache to MOG. Yeah. And then we started pushing it from there. Mm. And you're here today. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Kewa, are you related to Kewa? Because uh, it looks like everybody comes to Kewa. <laughs> What's the secret? Kewa has a big heart. You know, mm. um, Kewa is a loving uh, man. You know, aside the fact that he's an amazing engineer, mm. he's somebody who supports you um, in all that you do. If, he, if you get to know him, you know, he has a very, very big heart. So working with him is amazing and um, he supports. So once you have somebody who gives you that kind of support, you just have to stick with the person, you know. Um, there are a few genuine people in the world now. So when yeah. you get to one, you have to hold the person you, you in high esteem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let, let's talk, so on Eve, let's talk about the journey um, mm -hmm. when you even decided that you want to become a musician. Right. How how did it come about for you? I wanted to become a air hostess. You know the name just came to mind. I was going to, I was going to mention it. I like, you want to become an air hostess? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to, well I wanted to travel around the world, right. but it didn't happen. I'm sitting on television interviewing <laughs> you know you. <laughs> Uh, so you might have you 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 have dreams, of, right? You know, doing other things. Well, I initially wanted to be a footballer. <gasps> <laughs> you know how to play? No, <laughs> I I was always made to carry jerseys. You know, I I think I was I was carried away with the hype and the fun, the you know the the hype that comes with it. You know, people would just mention their names. Yeah. So that kind of hype got into my head as a child. Okay. Like I love to be a footballer. You know, and then be on TV and. Uh, you know, let people see me and all that. So that was a dream to be a footballer, but hey, we're here today doing music. How, how, how did the music happen? Um, um, I was literally, um, so I grew up in the Methodist church. Okay. You know, my mom was um, literally in the church almost every day. So um, I, I grew up um, with um, rehearsals, listening to choir rehearsals mm. and all that every time. Mm. And that kind of had an effect on me, you know. Um, I'll go in there playing the drums. I was like, how how does this thing work? You know, the legs, two legs and the hands, you know, doing separate things at the same time. Yeah, so, you need a lot of. Yeah, I was like, no, I need to learn this thing. So, I'm um, at a young age. I developed the, the heart for music, and I started learning, 
And that's how the journey began, you know. So I actually started as a drummer. Mm. I didn't start as, as, a, as a singer, you know. It was one day in church, um, Sunday school service, the person supposed to lead praise and worship um, couldn't make it. So the Sunday school teachers, out of frustration, and we're looking for someone. I said, I can do it. I can try it. This guy, I see him do it every Sunday. Yeah. You know, so they gave me the opportunity. And um, I went to the, Yeah, I did it. I did it. Uh, the teacher was like, you, you're good at this. What was that song? That uh, it was particular a, song? You know, no more praise and worship. You know, uh, um, like, Mete, I say, I'm meeting my house. I'm you, so I'm you. You know, just going through those things. And then um, it came out that, hey, the guy did the thing very mm. well for us. So from time to time, they give me the opportunity. Okay. And um, um, I got somebody to encourage me to listen to the likes of Kirk Franklin, mm. um, Donny, Pastor Donny McLeckin. Yeah. And I came into contact with Pastor Neokai, who has had, you know, he had an impact on my music. Like, literally, my whole musical foundation was built by Neokai. Wow. You know, in terms of um, understanding music, scoring music, creating music, you know, and appreciating and music, he's the one that did all the work. So I'll give the credit to him. Wow, God bless mm. him. Wow, wow. And then in 2013, mm. you recorded yeah. your very first single. First ever. In this studio. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like the it's same. It's changed. changed. It's yeah. changed. The, well, the, the entrance used to be where you're sitting. I was here with Keche. <laughs> they told me the same thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. a lot of things has changed. It's changed. You know, the place has transformed, you know. Um, Kewa did my first single for me free of charge. Mm. He didn't take a dime from me. He mixed and mastered it for me. And actually my first album for me free of charge, he didn't take a dime from me. And um, I'm grateful to him. Um, 2013, he gave me my first ever single titled Holy Spirit Come. Tell, tell, tell what, what inspired, you know, I mean, for, for, for all the uh, musical genres that mm. you could, you know, get yourself into a white gospel. Hmm. So, at the <laughs> it's quite a journey, but I'll, I'll, I'll summarize it. At the age of nine, mm. um, in a prayer meeting in one bush with my auntie, I received the gift of tongues, speaking in, in, in tongues. Yeah. And when I received it, um, I was uh, according to those who were around, I was writing Hebrew on the ground, and there was unfortunately there was nobody there to transcribe Just, what I was writing. Yeah. You know. So, um, the pastor then um, spoke to my auntie and said, "This guy has God's hand upon him." He'd be very great, and um, there's nothing he can do apart from the work of God. So, um, try and keep him in church, and he'll be great. You know. So, growing up, I I didn't have a desire to be a pastor or anything. I just wanted to be, you know, be myself, have fun, you know, do all the things yeah. that. Any, but I um, I was walking home one day, and this madman walked up to me. I said, "You're going to do the work of God." He mentioned my name, Nanaya. You're going to do the work of God. So. You better start now. Mm. You know, around that time I was contemplating, should I focus on the things of God or, you know, live the bad boy life? You know, you the know, football and, and, and football, all Football, bad boy life, I you know. know. So I, 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 I didn't want to do any of that, you know. And then um, I started the studio sessions, you know, before recording the single. And I started recording secular songs. There were two things. It's either the song will come out without my voice or the song won't come out at all. So every circular song I recorded, every circular feature I did, I started with features. Every feature I did, there were songs that I did with Sarko there, then on. Yeah. And they released the song. When I heard the song, I was waiting for my part. And then part. somebody had sang my part, taking my voice as somebody had sang my part. And um, the songs that um, were, were, had my voice on never came, came on air. So there's no circular song with my voice on, neither is there any um, um, production out there, you know. So it was then that I said, I was like, you know, listen, this thing is serious because mm -hmm. I need to take the things of God serious. You know, madman talking to me and um, other people giving me a prophecy and all that. So that's when I was like, you know, God has called me for gospel. So let me just focus on the gospel. Mm. Mm. And then you decided to record the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit come. That's when I started my first album. I was like, title New Wine. And then Kewa um, helped me. And the first song that I received was Holy Spirit come. And Obviously, um, the journey of um, music ministry, you need the Holy Spirit to direct you. Mm. So um, that was a song we wrote um, um, saying that them that worship the Lord will worship him in spirit and truth, as the book of John says. So that's how we got it. So, and, and the new wine? Um, yeah. What, 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 what gave birth to it? Yeah. Um, so uh, 
I so feel it's symbolic that, in any way. What what are you trying to? Because you you have concerts. Yeah. So that's that's the first album was titled New Wine, and the reason why I chose New Wine is because um, um, every every wine that is new, I mean, has an amazing taste. Mm. I'm not talking about alcoholic. I'm talking about okay, please. <laughs> it's the last time I spoke about this, <laughs> I almost got in trouble. You know, um, I mean, obviously, you know, when um, new wine has to be placed in a new wine skin. So basically, when the Holy Spirit is filling you, He has to take away the old things out of you, out of you make you really, brand new. Then yeah. He fills you with His gift, um, His anointing, His power to do His work. So basically, all we're trying to say with the new wine is, if you listen to the songs. The Lord will take away things that are not supposed to be away in your life and then fill you with things that are supposed to be there for you to manifest His glory. That is basically what we're trying to say with the new way. And then after the first album, we we're like, no, we need to do something to sustain the name and mm. the legacy new wine. So mm. we decided to do a new wine concert oh, every okay. year from then. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we, through that, we decided to take an advantage of the platform to also record new songs um, for the coming years and all that. So that's how it's been all these years. Mm. Uh, what would you say would be your breakthrough in the the industry, the especially the gospel industry? Mm, so, twenty thirteen, I bought the new wine album out. It was it was okay. Like it gave me a little buzz and a little attention. And then we did a new wine too. That one didn't work at all. You know, it went into the gutters. And then um, we came to the better me. Um, that is where. Um, I mean, I was like, you know, I need to put in a lot because, I mean, I've made mistakes here and there in my production, so yeah. I need to correct it. So the Better Me album came, and that's what I had to be lifted on. And then um, we, uh, we worked on the songs, did the whole production, and through God's own intervention and mercy, um, was able to catapult us to the nations of the world mm. with that song, where everybody, I mean, everybody in the world is now singing Be Lifted. Yeah, because, I mean, that particular song, mm. um, a lot of people thought that it was sung by... <laughs> An uh, American you or know, Nigerian. So <laughs> we're thinking, so who is that guy? Who is that guy? So <laughs> it's amazing. Um, but, but the song Be Lifted, um, I, I, I don't see why people say it sounds American or Nigerian. Because um, for me, it sounds very Ghanaian. Because wow. maybe I produced, I did the singing and all that. Um, Believe that became big, um, or it's, I mean, it's, it's still big anyway. Yeah, um, it is. In the some UK, um, in the South Af in South Africa, in the US, in some parts of Europe, and I started going to those places when the Ghanaian community or the Ghanaian um, industry had not really um, gotten grasp of who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. there was some people out there that called certain personalities or influential people in the Ghanaian um, industry space that there's this guy called MG he's always coming to our place he's from Ghana you guys we don't see you guys you know talking about him then the media space started paying attention to who MG is and mm. what he's doing and all that so um, instead of my my being the regular system of becoming relevant in your country before you became relevant elsewhere right before my country so that's how it played out for me that's how it's been all these years so of course, you give uh, all the glory to God. Of course, for, yes. you know, get, <laughs> getting you, you know, yeah. through that. So yeah. yours, yours was different. I mean, my, yeah, my, I think it's also one of the reasons why, and it's true that we have in because uh, personally, I would also say that mm. uh, there wasn't much attention on you mm. at a point. So I, I had no idea who. Emoji, emoji, because you know we have uh, the music producer yeah, emoji, the so it's um, a bit, yeah, 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 and and you're here today. How many how many albums do you have? I know that you're about to release. Yeah, so I have new one, one, one new one, two, better me album, experience album, and um, we are working on the Korean album, so we're on the fifth album. Okay, five albums. Mm. Well, let's just say that the. Last one, which I can't mention, really. Koinonia. Koinonia. Yeah, Koinonia. Oh, it's Ga. No. It's what? It's Hebrew. What is happening in, in the gospel <laughs> industry? I mean, Joe is out with... Kadosh. You know, and we're all... But, so, you have five albums. Right. Since you started uh, this ministry. Yeah. And... Have you ever contemplated, you know, quitting, you know, at a point before? 
Yeah. Um, uh, when when I, I got to place, I was, I was worn out. Yeah. And um, I felt like, you know, this is not the right thing for me to do. Um, and I'll tell you when that happened. After recording the first album, which kind of worked, but it didn't work. But the second album totally did it work. You know, I spent money and everything down the drain, you know. And um, I decided to do a third album. That's better me. So during the project, I literally gave everything that I have, like emptied my savings account, investments account, everything. My accounts were nil, mm. you know. And then I couldn't finish the project. So um, I had to take... Um, I, I was there thinking, how can I raise the money to do the mixing and mastering, you know? Um, because around this time, I was not getting any freebies again. Everything had to be paid for. Paid for. And um, I realized I had um, three months visa um, to one of the European countries in my passport. So I called my dad and I took a loan from him and went to that country and went to work for two months as a security officer, mm. you know? And um, stood on my feet from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. And when I came back home, I didn't buy anything for anybody. I went with empty bags and came back with empty bags because the money was for a project. And then came back home, paid my father the loan I took, and took every money that I made from the job I went to do yeah. to the mixing engineer to mix my songs for me. So by the time I came home with nothing, I was worn out. So when he finished the song, he gave it to me. I just felt like deleting the songs because, I mean, I did computer science in school. Very learned. Um, I can get a job and then start working on the side or build a mm. business by myself. Mm. But what is in that I have this desire to do ministry and it's so demanding and so stressful. And around this time, I was not getting no invitations. Nobody was calling for programs here and there. I was just sitting at home. So I was just, I, my laptop was not by me then. So I just called my PA and I told her that she should go to my office, pick my laptop and delete every song on the laptop. I don't want to hear any music. The new project was like, ah, and what you was wrong? I said, I don't want to do music again. I think I'm going to do um, look for a job and then settle quietly somewhere. And she was like, you have no idea the inspiration your music gives us. Mm. And that was the, you know, icebreaker for me. So when she said that, I said, bring the laptop. She brought it and I uploaded a song on YouTube and I did whatever I had to do. And I left it. I didn't do any promotion, any online marketing, nothing. So what happened was just God's mercy or God proving to me that just when you're about to give up, that's when I come in. You know, so um, when it comes about, talk, when we talk about giving up in music, I mean, I've had that, you know. And wow. Yeah. You, you, you've had, or you, you have a quiet story. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd love to, you know, take you back to where you grew up mm. from, uh, the area. Right. I want to find out how the whole community or the, okay. the environment okay. uh, you know impacted you in okay. any way mm -hmm. i mean the music i know that we're, we're still on the music but i think you still have a lot of well i believe that you still have a lot of things to say mm -hmm. um about the young nanaya watch <laughs> yeah. there's a lot yeah there's so, a lot <laughs> um well if you can we'll just uh, this studio belongs to kewa <laughs> Yeah. We have to leave before he gets here. <laughs> I'm so scared that no, he might Kyo, come in. Kyo is a cool, he's a cool man. <laughs> so you don't have any problem. But it's, it's interesting that we haven't celebrated Kewa enough. I, I think Kewa, um, the industry needs to celebrate Kewa. Mm. Trust me. Because yeah. the kind of impact is made yeah. um, in this industry. Mm. And for Ghana, putting Ghana on the map, the kind of sounds he's put out there is just amazing. But gospel and circular it's just amazing i agree i agree uh but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see you shortly we need to step out of our comfort zone <laughs> and well that's what they say right yeah. so we should step out of our comfort zone i think i'm too comfortable you're too comfortable. yes um there's been a little i mean there's been a face lifting in the, in the auditorium but okay i mean it still has a the old feel like yeah yeah where do you normally sit um, I sit right behind the instrument because I was an instrumentalist, you know, so that's what I used to say. I figured. Yeah. And, and your mom? My mom sat here. She's a leader, so she sits on this side. At, at yeah. the other side. Well, yeah. let's worship. I, I, I would love to have a church conversation. I haven't had that in a long time. In a long time, isn't it? Well, I haven't had... I haven't gone to church in a long time. Ah. My dad is not listening. <laughs> <laughs> you left here how many, how many years ago? Um, 
I left here around 208, 209, yeah. 2008. Not, too, not so long ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you still have memories from, a from lot, this building? A lot, a lot. I mean, just walking in here, seeing the building, mm. you know, um, it's just a lot of memories, like from childhood, you know, how I decided to um, learn the drums and um, the keyboard. I literally, I actually, actually learned every instrument in this church. You know, wow. the keyboard, the drums, trumpets, bass, guitar. Um, I learned them in this church. So, so you would say that I mean, this this place has pl uh, played a role. Yeah, in a major role. Yeah. Yeah, major role. I call this home. Mm. It's my home. Any lessons learned from you know this particular building? Thinking, you know, your mom is sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Pastor is preaching. Yeah. You know. I mean, a lot, you know, um, church activities, you know, um, Easter festivities, Christmas, um, 31st night, mm. you know, um, a lot. Prayer services, yeah. you know, midweek services here, um, choir practice, Boys and Girls Brigade, um, yeah, choir, which is upstairs, you know, so. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of, you know, things. Do we have a hymn that she, is it the, the uh, Methodist, Methodist? Yeah, Method, Methodist yeah, 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 we are, very, we are very, you know, keen on, on him. We are very big on hymns. You know, hymns yeah. is everything. Charles Wesley, John Wesley, you know, these people. Um, my favorite hymn. Wait, um, I was hoping <laughs> you would say something. I was hoping. <laughs> Um, oh, for a thousand tongues to well, that's, sing. That's how they sing it. <laughs> na, My na, great na, Redeemer's na, 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 praise. Na, na, na. The glory of our Lord and King. The, the triumph of His praise. The triumph of His praise. Then they go like... Na 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 na. na, na. Yeah. Wow. That's my wow. Hymn. That's that's your favorite hymn. Mm -hmm. You have a favorite Bible verse that you can share with. Our so I did hymn. my confirmation in the Methodist Church. There's something called confirmation where okay. um, you are giving um, training or teachings mm. before you start taking the communion because okay. we believe that the communion is not something you take out of um, ignorance. You yeah. have to be very informed yeah. before you take it. So we go to confirmation classes, and after the confirmation class, you have to uh, recite a memory verse. So mm. the first ever memory verse my mom taught me to recite was Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. Okay. Which says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. And that was the first verse my mom taught me. And I stood right here in the middle of the um, pulpit. Um, I think I was about 10, 11 years or 15 years. I can't remember. And mm. I recited that verse. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you understood, you know, the whole... Uh, concept that honestly that time was just a formality for me yeah and i just went through it but growing up and um you know revisiting um some of the teachings and then actually the verse the, the first verse my mom, my mom taught me it's really made an impact on my life because literally i i mean i think the holy spirit through my mom um prepared me for what i was about to do mm. Jeremiah chapter 13. see i have this day said the over the nations and over the kingdoms that's basically what i mean god is doing my doing, life now you know doing yeah. the work of god and you know visiting nations and then you know just impacting them with the word of god yeah how much of an influence uh has your mom had on you yeah. massive tell me about my it. mom is my everything oh she's don't get me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> she's my everything. You know, she's she's been my pillar. She's still behind me when um, everybody turned their back on me. I mean, my first single, she didn't understand. You know, she's more like of a local person. Yeah. And I did um, a contemporary song, uh, you know, English. She listened to it, and I knew she didn't understand anything I did, like musically. But she was like, "It's beautiful," you know. And she can't. It really felt. I really felt like encouraged. And she's never ever missed any of my programs, like from time, like. The first one to the last one, she's always been there. And um, um, she's played a major part. Yeah. You know, she'll wake up at dawn, come and stand over me, pray, pray, pray over myself and my siblings. Yeah. Sometimes I wake up and I hear prayers like this woman, what's she doing? And little did I know that what she was saying was going to have an impact in my life and help me build what God has used me for. Yeah. How, how, how is growing up like, you know, with your siblings and, and everything? It's not all about church. <laughs> I mean, there well, should be something, yeah. you know, else that... Growing up was fun, you know. I mean, we are... I have five siblings. Okay. I'm the first of five, 
Mm. Oh, know, you have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. <laughs> so Paying for, school fees and all of that. Oh, I never paid school fees for myself. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, my dad was well, well uh, you know, equipped to take care of that, you know. Um, um, so we are four boys and just one girl. Oh. Mm-hmm. And um, all of us, yeah, um, we had a bond growing up. And we've kept it, even though we are living in our own houses and yeah. everybody's doing their own thing. We've kept that bond because um, our mom really kept us together. You know, our father was literally on the road every time, you know, trying to get money to come home. And yeah. growing up as a child, I didn't really understand why he was not home every time. But being a father myself, where I'm also literally on the road mm. trying to make sure I provide for the family, provide, I appreciate yeah. what my father had to go through just to keep the home, you know. So um, the absence of my dad... Um, my mom played, you know, all the major roles, role, yeah. you know, helping us to do our homeworks. Something she didn't understand, she just had to use her mind. I remember all the time, she taught me her homework and when I went to school, I had zero. <laughs> I can imagine. I, I mean, Charlie, I came back, that's like, ma, ma, uti, uti, uti. And was like, what's the problem? I had zero. And the teacher really came me for that, I mean. So, I mean, she's been there and yeah. she's kept the family together. My siblings and I have a very strong bond, you know, we talk literally every day. Uh, they're also musicians just like no, you? No, um, the different. one after me is in Australia. Um, he, he lives, I mean, he went to school there, now he lives there. Okay. Um, the one after the, my, uh, the one who's after me yeah. are twins, Jesse and Jessica. Um, oh. Jessica works um, um, in the petroleum industry here in Ghana. And Jesse also lives in the UK. He oh. he works in the UK. And the last one, Fabia, he also lives in the UK, um, working over there. So, so what are you doing here in Ghana? Ah, <laughs> I'm here with my sister. <laughs> you okay, know. yeah, everybody yeah. else is there. Yeah, they, they want to be you there, do. you know. But I mean, I go there and visit them and ask, ask them when, and then yeah, you come, I come you, back home. I think back. I like it here. I like it here too, yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. So family, you spoke about family, yeah. how important family is. Uh, how is your family, your, you know, little your wife, and, mm -hmm. and how is your family like? Good. Um, my family is doing well by the grace of God. I have, I have a wife and um, I have three kids, three boys. Oh? Yeah. Boys? Yeah. All boys? All boys. How do you manage, you know, the, the whole thing, you know, <laughs> music and <laughs> taking care of... It's not, it's not Three easy. boys. It's not easy. Have you left it for your wife as well? Well, because you are on the road. Yeah. Trying um, to get money for the for the house. <laughs> I've I've. Let me see. Let let me be honest. You understand? Thank you. <laughs> um, she does most of the work when it comes to the kids. You know. Um, God bless her. Yeah, she does most of the work. Um, I'm kind of in and out. Yeah. You know, and when when I'm home, I try my best to spend quality time with the boys because I don't want to lose that bond, bond. you know. Even when I'm away, literally every day, we, Talk. are, um, we are talking on the phone, you know, video calls here and there. You know, so um, that's what we do to keep the family together, you know. As and when, you know, um, it comes to a time where you can say that, oh, now uh, you're on full flight, so you can put certain message in place, but we're still building, you know, and then a lot of work has to be done on the ground, so, yeah. which takes me away from home and most of the times, yeah. Obviously, you didn't see where uh, you are now coming. Mm -mm. Now that it's here, how are you um, managing the whole thing? I can confidently say that today, correct me if I'm mistaken, guys, that, I mean, you're everywhere. You're on, like, every program. Mm. MOG is either featuring somebody mm. or, you know, on... A program a gospel you know show you're actually being featured on secular songs yeah. Sakodie featured you and we're That's like right. oh which gospel musician is that you know yeah. and, and it's emoji yeah. did you did you see all these things coming no, no. you didn't mm -mm. so how are you you know taking everything in how are you managing the fame and how do you um or how are you hoping to sustain this so you know i mean so anytime um i hit a milestone i just have to i just take a step back and analyze the scene before i i walk into it because how i walk into it you know determines how long i'm going to stay in there mm. and how the next level is go also going to be like so anytime something like that hits me i just take a back seat, um, seat analyze you know the communication how people are seeing it 
you know, do some emotional, emotional intelligence here and there to yeah. see how I'm supposed to go in. Then I take a step in with confidence and, you know, of course, you don't want to look like um, why you're crossing me, like you didn't see it coming, mm. you know. As much as you didn't see it coming, you, you need coming. to manage it very well. Mm. So that's what I normally do, you know. So okay. there's this billionaire in Nigeria who has a mansion here, you know, um, he called and he was like, his peer called me like, I'm so sorry, so I want to see you um, in his house. So I drove into his house and all I saw was Rolls Royces, you know, Bentleys here in Ghana, you know. And I'm like, ah, so we, this building is in this Ghana, I'm not seeing it. So all of a sudden, you know, the kind of timidity kind of stepped in. Mm. But, you know, I sat in my car for about a minute and there was this guy standing by my door, you know, waiting to open waiting my to, door. Yeah. So when I opened the door, he said, we are welcome, sir. And I had, I had to walk majestically to the man's sitting room, mm. sat down, then he came down, you know, we had a conversation. Then he saw my composer, he said, yeah, wow, you're well composed. People normally come here and before I realize they're on the floor, behaving like, you know, they don't, they don't have a life, but mm. you're well composed. All that you've seen, uh, is it that this is the kind of life? I said, no, this is not the kind of li life I live, but I just kept my composure, you know. And then, I mean, we talked, we spoke about it, and then we, we became friends from there. So instead of becoming a boss, it's seven thing, we became friends. Friends. You know, yeah. mm, composure is everything, mm, I everything. guess. Wow. How is working with Sarkodie like? <laughs> you, uh, you know, I was I was trying to find out uh, exactly, you know, how the whole thing started. Mm. Then I asked somebody at Kiwa's office. I'm mm. like, so how 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 did this two, you know, mm -hmm. meet? Connect. And he said, oh, Emoji has been doing music for like a very long time. He's been doing, you know, coming to the studio and he meets these guys and all of that. Right. But you you have you have the the, the story. <laughs> Sakode is a childhood friend. Mm. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Okay. Um, um, his house and my house were just walls apart. So literally, I saw Sakode and like we all saw us growing up. You know, so we have that kind of um, childhood bond, bond. You know, so um, when he saw that, um, oh, uh, Nanaya is, is doing well in the music industry. I have this song. I want to do it with Nanaya. He got my number and he called me. I was like, Yo, bro, I have this song. You know, do you want to jump on? I was like, Yeah, why not? And he was kind of surprised because most of the gospel guys tend to kind of turn their his his orientation based on what he does and all that. Yeah, so but he, like, he did he did with uh, Soma for mm -hmm. Yao Sapong mm -hmm. and Soma for there's something about the Yao people that he's interested <laughs> in, I guess. We are loving. I mean, yeah, you know. So I'm uh, Yao, by the way. Oh, uh, I mean, but nice. that's but but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Yao, so yeah. Yao and Yao is I, I can't I can't claim all that. You know. <laughs> So, I mean, he just called me and was like, are you home? He said, yeah, yeah, come over. So I went and he played a song and I just did my verse. I did whatever I wanted to do. And then basically that was it. There was no, you know, hard and fast thing about it. Mm. You know, just, we just did it, you know, make it happen. What inspired the Belifted song? I want to know. This is just like a three or a two line song, mm -hmm. but you listen to the song and you keep listening to the song and you realize that there's, there's something about the song. Mm. I mean, you can't put a finger on it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly, but you can't put a finger on it. Yeah. There's, there's something about that song. Yeah, um, Belifted is, 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 um, is a generational song that God blessed me with, mm. you know, and I, I believe he gave me that song out of gratitude, um, you know, because I, as I said, I, there was a space in my life where um, I was down, I wasn't getting invitations here, and that is what I've been told I was supposed to do. Um, um, God has called me for this thing, so yeah. why is it that the thing is not working? It has to work, you know. And um, God gave me an instruction that pray for those who have gone ahead of you, celebrate them. So I started praying for um, the likes of Joe Metal, Sinach, you know, Eben, Nathaniel Basse, um, Chris Yotin, and those. I just pray, pray for them, genuinely pray for them in my room, and then. Um, now, the kind of questions I used to ask myself that, what is it that I'm doing wrong that God is not giving me the opportunity? Mm -hmm. That thought left my mind and I was filled with gratitude. And out of gratitude, I prayed to God that give me a song that will at leave me, that when I'm dead and gone, people will listen to this song and look for my God. Mm. Which God did this guy serve? I want to serve that God. You know, so out of that, I felt, when I prayed that prayer, I felt that I've really made an impact in God's, you know, prayer. Um, yeah, so quickly, I was driving. I was driving somewhere. I was, I was coming home from cantonment. I went for a meeting, and I just heard my ears will be lifted. 
above all other gods. And then, just when I got to the Burma camp area, I heard, we lay our crowns and worship you. I knew that, no, this thing is um, something. It's something, so I need to put the pieces together. So I recorded it, the, the words, the raw words yeah. on my phone. And then, and guess what? I was listening to Adum News when I heard <laughs> the Adum FM News. When mm. I heard, you, know, so, um, you don't listen to Joy? Joy. I mean, not that I don't like Adum. No, I, it's still Adum. No, I listen it's to Joy. Fine. You know, I, li I like Joy in the morning. So I listen to Joy News in the morning, okay. you know, because okay. I get Great. all the juicy juice, and, you know. And I want, I want to laugh in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. Oh. You know, I go to Adobe News, you know, because the tree, Kase Kase Ebo, Kase Ebo, naked, naked, you yeah, know, you naked, know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just laugh. <laughs> you know, so basically, um, I, I, I got the words, and when I went to the studio, I talked to, I spoke to my engineer that I have something that I feel would be great. So we started playing with it, and we are able to build um, that song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what does it mean to, especially Christians, mm. uh, to speak in tongues? Um, I, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you people... You're Christian or issues? <laughs> well, I can't answer that question. I'm not too professional. I, I speak in tongues. So what, you, what does it mean to you? Well, it, uh, I can't really <laughs> tell if you ask me. I do, but, you know, we, we, we have uh, now, we're having more of that in our songs mm. you know when you listen to Diana Hamilton there's a bit of tongues in there when you listen to Joe Ohima Messi does the same thing and it's becoming you know so for the benefits of people who don't understand it, there are some churches who don't speak tongues mm. they don't believe in it mm. so you so when you're you professional <laughs> so you have to <laughs> help not, me it's here not, it's not professionalism <laughs> it's basically it's scriptural i mean it's for the edification of the body of christ okay. you understand? it edifies you you know and the bible says that he that speaks in tongues speaks mysteries mm. you know and then um for you to speak mysteries in the realms of the spirit means a lot because you are praying about something that um you don't have any idea about you are literally praying the will of god into existence when you speak in, in an unknown tongue and obviously, um, the other side is that it confuses the enemy. You know, mm. when you speak in a English or tree or any um, um, dialect that's understandable, they will understand. They will understand and know what you're talking about, and probably know how to, you know, curtail or stop you, whatever you're doing. But when you speak in, in tongues, nobody understands. What, it's between you and God. It's an encrypted um, form of communication between you and God, and then, and it helps the bonding. With you and God, that's what Bible says. It edifies. So you can be listening to something. The person can be saying all that he's saying. Then when he starts speaking in tongues, you feel this bubbly thing within yeah. you. It's the edification. It's different. You understand? You know, it means it means your spirit have caught the revelation of the what he said in the tongues. You don't understand it, but you you have, you have the effect. You feel the effect. You know. So basically, um, I've, in a nutshell, that's how I, 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 works. I, I, yeah, it works. Yeah, I think it it, it works for me. Um, no, this conversation is getting. I, I want to come to your. I mean, you have five albums. Mm -hmm. uh, the recent one, which hasn't been released yet, we are, yeah. we're, we're still looking for a date to mm -hmm. release it. Yeah, um, it should be. It should be up before the end of September. Okay, yeah. before the end of September. Yeah. And uh, tell me about the album. What? What? Why? I mean, you 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 had. The first, the first album went well. The second mm. album didn't, you know, really go well. Yeah. And you have a third one, a fourth one, mm -hmm. now the fifth one. Mm -hmm. um, why do we have this one? What inspired uh, this album? Mm. So basically, um, the inspiration came from the fact that um, the Lord was telling me that we need to, he wants us to create um, an atmosphere where he can fellowship with, with man, mm. you know, through the project. So I was asking God that how can that be, you know, um, how do we bring this thing to life, you know, I don't have the songs. And then all of a sudden, I started receiving songs, you know, in my ear. Sometimes one of the songs I was sleeping and I, I entered a room with this man dressed in white and said, give, give Emoji the microphone. So they gave me the microphone and said, sing. I started singing a song that I didn't, the song was just coming, I didn't know the song, but it was just coming out of me. And I woke up singing the song so quickly I recorded it on my phone. Which and one is that? It's titled Grace, it's an album. So you, you hear it. So when, when you listen to Grace, you know the song I'm talking about. So when okay. you see Grace on the album, yeah. you know that that's the song I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, and um, um, the song came, you know, bits and pieces. And we have been able to put the songs together to make the Koninia album of 16 songs. 16 songs? 16 songs. Solid 
songs, songs recorded live live all of them live yeah interesting mm -hmm. well let's take a break we'll be back <laughs> sure That's my grandma. Hey! 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 Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ah, yes, you see, by any bonnie, eh, one say, oh, 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 industry, gospel industry, no more. Why any of my baby, why not what's in Susu baby? And I, yes, see, eh, what dear, why ain't he? And I, what dear, yammy, I, yeah, one a brabo, you know, yeah, yeah, can't I say, yammy, dear, you know, yam, and I, yeah, call studio in a baby, oh, yeah, in a record, and also, you know, and I, now, ha. Baby, a onye ano, onye o. I have say wa fa have say baby. Inti no, yen fa na yen chia ni nana. Ansa na yatu aso. Inti na yeba. Amen, amen. Na na na. Next time, I can say. Oh, ko baby, I'm my information. I'm my, I'm my information. No ba e. Eh, no di me me chia say. Na onye no, onye no na o o ya kola ben sa o ya kola boni anase. Oh, yeah, call papa. Ma, you better was it. You better was it. Now, what, what's the meaning of Ole? You kept saying Ole, Ole. Oh, okay. What can you say? Okay. okay. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now, I'm not sure. 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 Ah, oh, Navy kiosk. Yeah, I was saying, me to me shopping. I was Navy kiosk and Santa Marco. Into no metal by where you put on a patch on my coin wine. I ain't tired yet. Where put on? You see, you want new one? No. New one. But new one, eh? I ain't tired yet. We are shopping. Maybe I'm not making good money. Oh, honey, me that's why I find you now. I was crying here. Baby, tell me. Bimbila. Bimbila. That my. Okay, and I was good. Okay, no, my coach is a 
to the bad nature of Tama. I mobile money. I I got myself something from Navy Kios and I am very excited that I met well I had the privilege to meet uh, MOG's grandma and so if you are in Tema anywhere in Tema this this is not like I mean you're supposed to be here and you know get all your uh, things from and she 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 told me that she gets all his his, his things not from Accra but she also not would have Dambai. Everything is coming from Dambai and it's a bit cheaper. So if you want anything cheaper, Navy Kiosk is the place to be. So I think that uh, this is um, the best place to talk about your achievements. Oh. I mean, your grandmother uh, just told us that he hasn't, uh, she hasn't seen you for like a very long time. <laughs> yeah. So and it's been ten years. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on your music. You've been yeah. taking care of your family. Uh, you haven't been visiting a lot, <laughs> and and so standing uh, just one feet away from where you grew up, right. I think it's, it's, it's right that mm. you brag about you know what you've achieved over the years, over the period of ten years that you've mm. been in the industry, uh, just so maybe your grandma can hear <laughs> yeah yeah so this one well, I'm, I'm sure you want to be a bit modest about it you don't want to talk about it but imagine that you're telling your your grandma mm. what you've achieved over the years yeah i mean god has been gracious to 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 me um over the years um the awards we've won um by the grace of god first of all the nominations as uh, yeah. before the awards um, talking about the Ghana Music Awards nominations, yeah. um, Ghana Music Awards UK and US, US. nominations. Yeah. Um, uh, I think there are other, there are some other awards, uh, but I can't really remember the that's, names. That's you know. okay. Uh, but you know, by, by the grace of God, we won the Male Vocalist of the Year 2020 and 2021, you Twice know, back to back. Yeah. And then um, the year, the 2022, um, 2022, we won the um, male Vocalist of the Year, yeah. um, U.S. Um, male Vocalist of the Year edition. So it's male, three Male Vocalist Awards from um, Ghana Music Awards, um, Ghana and the U.S. And um, there's this, and uh, there's another one from um, Young um, um, Achievers. Uh, Achievers. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we won um, the Gospel um, um, Young Gospel Artist of the Year, Thank something um, of that sort. And um, of course. Um, I'm an ambassador to IS, um, um, which um, is one of the thriving youth um, conferences mm. in Ghana. And um, basically, these are um, the awards we have up and, and, and there's more to come. There's more I, to come. I, I believe. Hopefully, more yeah. to come. You know, so um, we are working hard. You know, um, trying to put Ghana on the map um, for people to know the gifts that Ghana has. So um, gradually, we are getting there, and um, we're believing God for greater heights and, and all that. Best male vocalist of the year, three times. Mm. What do you think accounted for that? Apart from, you know, God who gave you the the voice. Do you think that you've <coughs> also been able to work towards it, say, um, rehearsing mm. and, and all of that? What, what, what do you think? I mean, yes, we we work towards it. Um, uh, the honest truth is, um, I never do any of my productions thinking of an award. Mm. You know, I honestly think about the impact it makes on the society and the individuals that listen to my music. Mm. So um, when it comes to awards, an award is a plus for me. You know, it doesn't really, um, um, that's not the focus, you know. It's just a plus to what I really want to do. So when it comes, fine. when it doesn't come, we move. So we've done 10 years in the industry. Mm. What are your expectations for the next 10 years? And, you know, essentially the brand MOG, where we're taking it to more collaborations. More collaborations um, are both um, local and international. international. So we are looking at we're looking at that, and we are also looking at 
um, making sure that we put our music um, in a place where people can identify the source of our music. That this good music is coming all the way from Ghana in Africa. Mm. You know, not just um, uh, there's an artist called Emoji. We don't know where he's from, but just people tracing it and coming to Africa to get the same quality of music that we produce, you know, here in, here in, Ghana. in Ghana, you know, so that's that's the dream and that's the vision, you know, and also to help younger ones who are doing the same work that we are doing, um, who, necess um, who may not have the help or the foundation that we have. So basically we want to help those younger ones to come up to yeah. do um, greater than the things that we, we are doing. So, I mean, um, it's, when, when we get to a certain level, it's just right that we push people above us so that they continue putting Ghana on the map. Yeah. Does the music pay though? It's good. That's the only thing that you're doing. You know that you're not. Well, you haven't even no, so mentioned whether you do other things apart so that, from this. So music um, is all you do. So I um I have I have a tech um um body act tech solutions. You okay. know um because I did IT. So mm. now that you know you, when the music when the music was a baby, you have to go to a certain level. So now that it's it is at a certain level. I cannot pay attention to my IT business and now you build do it what up. you have to do exactly. to be able to do what you want to do. Exactly. So Get now, Body um, Tech Solutions has come into you know help with um, Where tech is it solutions. Located? Oh, the office is in my house now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, just just like Amazon, we start from my house. Okay. And then we take it to yeah to the next level. Right. So that's what Body we're doing. Body Tech Solutions. Tech Solutions. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Audio tech solutions. Do you have you ever tried present presenting, hosting a show or anything? On TV? Yeah. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, let's try. Oh. Let's try and <laughs> just and like see, that. And see if you can wrap up the, uh, the, the show. My, my own is a uh, is is more. If you give me a microphone, I'll sing. So yeah. I should wrap up. But you have a microphone. We just not for singing. That's just okay. For talking. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk ourselves out of of of, of e vibes today. It's been a <coughs> <coughs> one. Okay, so what do I say? You have well, to give you're me, just, a, you're just, me write up. Yeah. So imagine that you're the producer, you're the presenter, you're everything. Okay. So considering what we've done the whole of today, we've come to the end okay. of it all. Okay. Uh, so you can appreciate people that you want to appreciate mm. and finally tell us all to go to bed because we are done with the show <laughs> okay <laughs> all right here we go oh so uh where's your camera it's That's right camera. here okay ready <clears throat> are you ready okay <laughs> action why why do i feel like you're nervous <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> uh, okay. okay 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 hi guys my name is mog you're watching e vibes mm. and listen We've come to the end of an amazing episode with yes. MOG. It's been an amazing ride from KY Studio to Methodist Church to my grandma's place. This is my neighborhood. This is my hood. You know what I'm saying? So we're wrapping up. Um, have a good night or good morning wherever you're watching. And um, stay blessed, stay focused, and keep doing what you keep doing. Okay? I love you. God bless you. God bless. <laughs> okay.